Today we want to talk about creating recompletion cases using PhD Win software. And this is important when we're doing reserve evaluations. And uh, usually when we have a recompletion case, we want to tie it you know, to a producing well projection. So we start out with a producing well. Here it is. We've done a decline on it. We have the reserves projected. But sometime in the future when this well becomes uneconomic, we want to do the uphole recompletion. So let's go ahead and create a reserve case for the uphole recompletion by pressing this duplicate button. And we go ahead and change the name and we're going to call it number five well recomplete or RC. And then you have to check off what items you want copied in the duplicate. We don't need the monthly data, but everything else we want to duplicate. All right, so now we have a duplicate case for the recompletion. Uh, now we have to start making some changes. So it's not a producing case, so we have to change the reserves to behind pipe. We have the name of the well. We have the reservoir. But the reservoir is going to be the L sand because we're, we're moving up hole from the M. So we change that. But the prices, you know, should all be good and modeled as we had them in the producing well. We have an operating expense model. We can change that if you want, but we just leave it the same. Ownership, you know, shouldn't change for the recompletion, so it's going to be the same as what you had in the producing well. But what you have to do is you have to add an investment because it's going to cost money to do this recompletion. So you press insert on your investments, and you can label it as a recompletion. And we know this recompletion is going to cost 250000 so we go ahead and put it in there. And the other thing is the date, when you're going to spend this money. But we don't want to put a date. We want to tie it to when the well starts producing, the recompletion. So we press link date, and then we're going to choose segment one. That's going to be the first projected segment for the recompletion. And then we can offset the investment tied to the re uh, production start. So sometimes it takes you, like, you do the work, and it takes like 30 days to get the well on production. So you can do a negative 30 offset. So the investment will be tied to 30 days before this new zone comes on production. Save that. All right, so now we have a recompletion case with investments. Let's go ahead and just move it out a little bit. Maybe add a few more years because we're going to be projecting. And we don't have any test data because it's a future project, so we're going to delete that. And we don't have, let's don't worry about the gas right now, let's delete that. All right, so now we have a case set up for the recompletion reserves, but we have to agree on how we're going to model the rate and projection. So we know this zone's going to come on at about 200,000, uh, 200 barrels a day. We, we're going to put a little note showing how we came up with the reserves. We're going to use, uh, we know volumetrics, we have five acres. And we have about 10 feet of net pay. And our recovery factor that we've calculated is 400 barrels all per acre foot. Press control, enter. So we know the EUR on the well, based on volumetric, is going to be 200,000. So we can document that with a little note just to remember how we did it. OK, so now we have to get a rate profile. OK, this is showing 148,000 barrels. So we want 200,000. So we can adjust the decline, or we can, you know, we got to make the profile like we think is appropriate so we get 200,000. It's still not 200,000. All right, so you can just hard code in 200,000 right here. All right. Okay, so now we have a reserve projection for the recompletion case. It's ready to go. But we want to tie it to the producing well because when the producing well becomes uneconomic, that's when we're going to do the recompletion case. So this producing economic limit is depending on the all price. So if we change the all price, we want the producing well to decline, uh, economic limit to change, and we want the recompletion to change in time. So anyway, so the way we do that is we use the editor, global editor, or editor recompletion tree, and we drag in the producing well in first. That's the number five well in sand. Then we take the recompletion case and drag it in and put it on top. So that puts this little symbol. That means that the recompletion case is linked to the producing well case. And there's zero days between them. So we can double click and change that. So once the producing well becomes uneconomic, it might take you 60 days to get the rig. 
before you can do the recompletion so you can put an offset for the recompletion timing. And you save that. All right, so the producer well becomes uneconomic in 2023. So the recompletion should happen 60 days after that. All right, so we got it set up looking good. And this is a live link. If we change the decline on the producing well, it will change the start date of the, uh, the completion case. So if you, you shorten that, then it's going to change the date of the recompletion case. So let's go ahead and put that back. Okay. All right. Anyway, something like that. All right, so we have the recompletion case tied to the producing case. And just to check it, let's go ahead and do a reserve report run just to make sure everything's working correctly. So we're going to select economic, standard economics. We're going to put our reserve recompletion case in there. We're going to press run. And we're going to generate a reserve report. So we check, make sure everything's okay. So recompletion case, we have the name correct. We have the L saying we have crude behind pipe. We have the $250,000 investment coming in in the future of 2023. Reserves are close to $200,000. So everything's running good. We have the ownership, the rate of return, the uh, net present value. So it seems like it's working good. So we've done it. So now we have reserves of a producing well that we can generate and the behind pipe recompletion. So that's how you do it. It's real easy to do. And when you're doing your reserve report. So call me if you have any questions.